Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. Thanks for listening. I appreciate all of you and I can't wait to meet you in heaven. So many of you have reached out and I'm so thankful. So, so much has happened in the news this week, in politics and in our world. It is crazy how much is going on. I took a few days off to let some of it pass over as it seemed like a whirlwind was blowing through. Like you, I was watching and listening to all of the major events, sifting and discerning them. 1 Corinthians 13, 12 in the King James Version describes our understanding as it is now before we see Jesus face to face. Here's what it says. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. We are looking at things from an earthly perspective at this time. When we are raptured and face to face with Jesus, we will understand so much more. For now I would encourage us each to ask for discernment and wisdom as each day is unfolding with more events in our country and in the world. As I watched everything this week, the Lord brought me back to the simplicity of keeping my focus on Jesus. The rapture is soon and will happen in a time when it's least expected. Jesus is worthy of all our adoration and all glory at all times. The more we thank him and praise him, the more we understand his beauty and majesty. I want to read Psalms 100 as it gives us some ways to prepare for the coming of Jesus for us. Here it is. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. What an awesome scripture for this time. Thank him for everything and enter into his presence because he is our refuge. I felt the Lord communicated to me a word that I hope will encourage us. It is to remind us about what God has in store for us as his family in the things above. As I share it, please feel free to test the words. And here it is. My beautiful bride, my children, your wait is about to end. The reception for the wedding is prepared. My chosen ones, don't be disturbed in your hearts by the events of this world. In my kingdom, there is peace. You will join the saints who have gone before you, who have obtained their inheritance, who have seen the glories. You will join the celebration of angels, of spirits, redeemed to their bodies and of the hosts of heaven who cry out, Glory! Your names are inscribed on the palms of my hands and in the book of life. You will be escorted into these realms of glory and will be seated at the table set for your coming. Not one eye will be dry, but tears will flow of joy and release. In the depths of that holy moment, every tear will be wiped away by my abundant love. The joy of eternal love will envelop you, my own children, and you will be full indeed. In awe, you will receive my love stored up for you, and no one will be left out. In this moment of what time remains, contemplate my eternal love, that I would lay down my life for you as an eternal and everlasting covenant of peace and marriage. Today I take your hand as always and lead you safely into the promised land, a land of milk and honey. Consecrate your souls to me, mind, heart, and emotions, and I will receive you. And that's what I felt he said. 
God will give us such an amazing reception in heaven as his family. Give all the glory to Jesus. He secured it for us by his own sacrifice on the cross. He rose again in victory, raising us up with him to the place of accepted in the beloved. Wow, he is worthy of all praise. If you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it is time. If you want to be in his presence as his family, please pray with me. Heavenly Father, I praise you for making a way for me in Jesus. I acknowledge that I have sinned and I need you to save me. You came, Jesus, to die on the cross for my sins. I know you rose again for my salvation. I have sinned in so many ways. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Jesus, wash me clean in your blood. I accept you, Jesus, as the only way back to the Father. I embrace your way, truth, and life. I renounce sin, unbelief, fear, and idols. I renounce Satan's hold on me. I renounce all attachments to satanic ways. I cut off soul ties to ungodly people. I am yours now. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Wash me, cleanse me, and make me a part of your family forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to God's family. I can't wait to meet all of you in the clouds. It's going to be sooner than you think. Keep watch and rejoice in him. Share the gospel as often as you can. I love you. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.